hello everyone else um, and let's talk about bodies and business and what a great day to have this soon because gosh did I use my body today to create some awesome business why because people go after the looks <laughs> and therefore um, when it comes to business and bodies it's not about dress for success okay please if you came here to get a dress code dress for success is just so this reality um using <laughs> using your body in business is a whole different way of being with your body it's basically co-creating your life with your body um <clears throat> people tend to think everything through how many of you truth how many of you believe that doing business and creativity is a head thing we think it me <laughs> yes um what if we invited our bodies to become co-creators of our life of our business of our financial situation um, and of course, co-creating relationship, dating, whatever you want. I know I just, um, facilitated a three-day body class in Iraq, in Erbil, which was amazing. Um, there was a big topic <laughs> about, um, how to use your body to actually have some fun with your body to find a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> or just a man, a sexy man, whatever. You can ask for whatever you want. The idea or what I would like to invite you to today um, to truly allow your body to contribute to your financial situation, to your business. Um, bodies are amazing. Uh, bodies are very flexible and probably... The most important information bodies have their own consciousness and bodies have no point of view bodies have no point of view if a body sees another body it doesn't go ah oh, you are too fat you are too skinny you are too tall whatever they go oh what a yummy energy let's play bodies lust after each other but they don't go for the looks okay bodies are not very visual bodies are way more energetic um <clears throat> and i don't know how many of you have been on the last call with gary douglas and christopher christopher hughes oh my god what a game changer um including your body and allowing your body to lust after not after other bodies to lust after beauty to lust after nature to last, to last after relaxation, to last after, I don't know, activity. Okay, there is no right way to be with your body. Our bodies love everything and our bodies love business because they love to interact with others and business, doing business is engagement, is interacting with others. So everywhere, what, no matter what business you run, no matter what you do for a living, your body wants to support you. Your body loves to interact if you allow it to. Okay. And when it comes to business, when it comes to money, when it comes to body, the number one word is receiving. Receiving. Money is all about receiving. Bodies love to receive. And receiving is not being, it includes being kindly and softly touched, but receiving for the body is way more. Receiving for the body is enjoying all the senses that have, that we have around us. Our bodies can touch, they can smell, they can see. There are so many senses we can use with our bodies. And if you allow all these senses the capacities of your bodies to co-create your business, to co-create your financial situation, to co-create your life and living by including it and allowing yourself and your body to receive. Oh, well, I think we would have a totally different 
Really? Safiya, do we have a question? Or did you unmute by accident? <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, she just noticed. <laughs> At least put your camera on. <laughs> it's all good. So <laughs> I like it. It's funny. <laughs> <clears throat> If you have any questions or if you want to ask, so because it's a topic where people go, no, it's either this or this. And a lot of people also think, oh, David, he was, you know, he's doing business. He's the lawyer of access. He's the money guy. Why is he doing body classes? As, as if this was something, you know, this is the business part. And you know, this is then, you know, for the spiritual ones, that's the body stuff. <laughs> um, for me, it is the, ultimate combination because I know that me and my body co-creating my life you can't separate me from my body and you can't separate my body from me so why would I not include my body and even getting a body process run or getting my bath run is an incredible part of this co-creation because I'm gifting my body relaxation I'm gifting my brain a break and if I'm relaxed, if my brain is relaxed, my body's relaxed, oh, well, will we create way more in business, in life with money? And of course, you can use your body for so many more creations. You can use your senses. You can even use the judgments of others. You can, you, you can be aware of what this re reality functions from. Like today, I'm here at the castle, Italy, and then we go to the town hall where you have to speak to the mayor, to the vice mayor, to all these, you know, important people. Now, what do you think they expect when the lawyer from Vienna is coming to a visit? I have to dress up like this. I mean, I'm looking good. <laughs> and you haven't seen me in my cashmere coat with my scarf and with the gloves. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's what impresses them. It creates a certain impression. Am I any better because I'm wearing a tie? Fuck no. But yes, does it work when I want to use it to my advantage? Oh, yes, it does. So not going into, oh, I'm wrong, I'm manipulating. No, I, I put this on today and I'm like, okay, let's conquer the world. Let's get this. And guess what? Everything I wanted, I got out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but not based on force, I need this. I went into this meeting and said, you know what? And I literally said, I said, okay, come on, we, we can close this castle down and use it as a private residence. And they believed it because I look rich in my outfit. So this is how you can use all the judgments, all the expectations, the mainstream points of views, especially in business. What is mainstream point of view? If you dress well, you are successful. If you have this, then this. This world is based on conclusions to a degree you cannot imagine. Don't fight against it. Be aware of it and use them to your advantage. Use them to your advantage. And then you will see how your body can become this incredible, I like to call it par partner in crime because I do a lot of fun stuff with my body where I can say, oh, let's try this, let's try this and let's see how that works. But I also allow my body to, to turn on other bodies and to be aware when other bodies are lusting after me, which is especially in business. And I'm probably taking this call to a very, <laughs> to the edge of what you can hear. Um, lust in business is a no-go. It's unprofessional. No, this is business. You don't mix business relationship, all that stuff. Where does this point of view come from? Why would you not allow your body to enjoy negotiation, to enjoy being lusted after? It's just a sensation, okay? It's an awareness. You don't have to do anything with it. And this is a conversation that I have a lot in my body classes when people go, oh my God, he's lusting after me. Why are, you, why are you not grateful for the awareness of your body? Your body can sense immediately when someone's lusting after you. 
and your body can, this is the ability that can protect you as well. There are a lot of people who are aware, wait a minute, I shouldn't go here because they sense this energy of maybe there is someone. So you can use the awareness. You can be grateful for this. People try to stop the body to do this because it's called, it's, it's, it's not professional and they get irritated. The bodies are so incredibly aware of everything. And I mentioned this example in my, in my body class in Iraq, when I say, you know, you all remember 2004, this big tsunami in the Indian Ocean. Um, <clears throat> where was it? I think it was in Malaysia. 200,000 dead people because this huge tsunami just killed everyone. 200,000 people were killed and I think 2,000 animals because the animals all went to the hill the night before. They followed their awareness. With animals, we say instincts. Only the stupid people stayed in the resorts at the, at the beach because they paid for it. But we have the same capacities. We are just covering them up. We're covering them up. We numb them because we have considered it's inappropriate, especially with sexual awareness, especially with lust, because we think that lust is only sexual. No, it's not. It's way more. It's the desire to receive. It's the desire to enjoy. And one way of enjoying another body is having sex with it. There are so many other ways. Lust is kind of no. It's a no-go in this reality. But it isn't because it's one of our natural instincts we have. <clears throat> and as soon as you acknowledge that your body is aware of something, you stop judging it. And then you can make a choice. Oh, I want to flirt with this person. Oh, I'd better leave because I don't want to get in touch with this person. <clears throat> what is lust? <laughs> Anna Hernandez is lust. What is lust? Lust is turning on your body. You know, you have in our brain, we have the a lust center. When we have this kind of, oh, we're being turned on, we get hot, we and that lust keeps us alive. It turns us on. It's the ultimate way of joyful living. It doesn't mean we have to have sex with everyone we lust after. This is the lie of religion, the lie of society. What if you all just could just enjoy to lust after? Lust after amazing food. I think we have someone here from Iraq who loves to lust after amazing food. <laughs> Why don't you lust after beautiful buildings? Lust after nature. You can lust after beauty. What does it mean? You enjoy receiving from it. Have you ever walked through a beautiful garden, through nature? through a beautiful city like Venice, Paris, or even the city center of Vienna, where you go, oh my God, this is beautiful. That's lasting after to receive from everything with no point of view, from the beauty of it. You can lust after amazing food, really good wine. You can lust after incredible nurturing and interesting conversations with someone. Does that mean you have to have sex with them? Fuck no but you can still enjoy and receive to that degree that your body gets turned on. And that's what I call co-creating with your body, your business, where you are aware of all of that, you don't resist it and you choose. And you can always say no, you can always say no, thank you. You can always say stop based on a choice not on rejection, which is a whole different world. The choice to say no and rejecting it because you think you can only say no. One, no, based on choice. So you're making a choice. Congratulations. You are aware you make a choice. Rejecting because you have no choice is no choice. <laughs> you are rejecting. Um, and it's probably very theoretical already. 
I'd rather ask you now for your questions before I go too much into detail because I just love this topic. So who has a question here? <laughs> who has a question about business and bodies? <laughs> well, I have, but it seems like you're pulling out my head. Like you oh, it's it's like, my, oh, my, body. my body can pull this out. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell us about like bodies in within business, like in uh because I had someone who said, like, she's, in, she's a politician and she heard about bodies and business. And I was like, hmm. And then you told me about, like, it's easy with, you know, with politician, but you don't have to really talk about body, uh, politician, but also what, how do you use, I mean, with flirting on the business and work floor, that's, it's probably like a no-no in this reality, but how do you play? Well, um, Flirting in business is a no-go. And if you work in a government authority or if you work somewhere, you really have to be aware because there are these, you know, um, Me Too movements. You can't make a compliment to a woman. And if they, if you lust after a woman, you you pay her for uh, a punitive damage from mental abuse. You know, there's all this shit is going on, okay? But be aware of it. Be aware of it. Because if you are aware that you work in a company where they have these ethical rules, mm -hmm. then someone in, invites you to flirt with you and you start flirting, they might throw you under the bus just to get money from you. So don't cut out the flirting. Don't cut out the lusting. Just be aware when someone does it with you or when your body does it and then make a choice. And flirting with someone the easiest way to use your body in business is to have no point of view about the outcome and then turn on these magic five points um, there are five points um, and when you energetically turn these five points on you turn out you turn on the last center in that body what does that mean it makes this person excited happy in business, it distracts them to mm. an extremely. And who is then in charge when you are like negotiating with politicians? Turn their five points on. They'll get distracted. They'll not, they don't know what's going on. Suddenly they are kind of <gasps> turned on. So you use it to your advantage in, as a negotiation skill. And people who are turned on are less aggressive. They're less stubborn. They are confused because in a business setup, it is not appropriate to be turned on. So you use the judgments of this reality to your advantage. Turn them on. Well, which five points? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is part of the 3D body class, my dears. I'm doing some self-promotion here. If you want to learn them, come to my body class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aisha, hello, my dear. So good to see you again. She was in my body class. <laughs> oh, That's nice. a good question. So you know what the five points are. Don't oh, yeah. Them. You don't share them. Don't kill my business. <laughs> more meetings with my supervisor. Everything is going better now. Really? I like to hear that. <laughs> okay. I have a question. You said that we don't think for the business that we use our bodies to contribute, but how can we do it? Yani I have an idea to start a business. But I keep thinking that I don't know the market. I have to think. I have to do study, research. Yes. How can I use my body to know if the energy is good for me or not? Okay, so you have it. Thank you for these examples. You have this amazing business idea. And you can, you can keep thinking, okay, that's all fine. But you could add your body and say, you know what, body? I have this business idea. Share the business idea with your body and then tell your body, Body, let's make sure we are always at the right time, at the right spot to meet the right people to get this started. Your body will take you there. So include your body and get out of your routine. We do so many things because it is the easiest. So it, one, gosh, I'm giving too much information away about the body class. One home play from the body class is break the routine. If you go to work every day, 
the same way. If you always park your car at the same parking spot, park it somewhere else, take a different way to work, take a right turn instead of a left turn and then go explore new possibilities. And this is how you can trust your body, share your business idea with your body and ask your body, take me where this will come into fruition because your body knows. Your body knows all the future clients. Your body knows the people that need to help you. You need a graphic designer. You need uh, whatever. Your body will take you there because the body is able and capable of connecting your energy with the energy that matches what you want to create. The body will do it. So enjoy, relax, and tell your body, hey, come on, let's do this together. Good. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Um, wait, I have to read the chat here. Let me open it. One second. I can uh, read it. What's easier for you? Shall I read it or you? Um, I can read it. It's difficult to differentiate the judgment and my body's voice. How to know what, spot, what the body is saying? Ask. <laughs> is this a judgment or is this my body? Ask, what is this? Is this a judgment or is this my body? It's as easy as that. Our bodies will immediately give us an indication what it is. Our bodies are amazing and our bodies have no point of view. They go direct to the energy that's required. Kathy, the politician. Yeah, I hope I didn't offend you. Oh, no, I'm not easily offended at all. I know, that's why I adore you. I get excited. You say politician, that's exciting to me. How much fun can I have with it? Yes. Um, okay, so here's my question for you. Um, how do you, uh, what do you have to say about your body being the most dominant energy? I guess in the room, in life, and all, I mean, your whole, your whole thing, your whole being. Well, you said something. You said your body being the most dominant energy. You can, your body can be the most dominant energy. I would start with the question, what energy of my body is required for me to get what I want? Because maybe you need to be the weak and vulnerable to get what you want rather than the dominant one. Okay, okay. So this is where I'm coming from. So yes, I was in that last call with you the last three days. It was fabulous. Um, yesterday when I came today, I woke up. I typically have a left side body pain thing that comes and goes. And I ask questions about what, what do you want? You know, what's going on? So I woke up with that yesterday, off the day, and the previous the night before, and, and it went away a little bit this morning. But now it's bad. It's just kind of eh. and and I'm and what I what I'm aware of is I tend to another lady in the class mentioned her left side body pain, and I was like, ooh, I thought, Kathy, body, are you trying to heal this one on the call? And I have a tendency to do that kind of stupid shit. Uh, stop, 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 okay. stop right there. Okay. You were on a call and your body could pick up the pain. Was that person, how far away was your body from that body? Do you know where that other lady was calling in from? I didn't notice that. I just, I, she's first of my back was seen her. So our bodies have this incredible capacity to pick that up with Distance and time is no matter. This is an incredible capacity because with the same capacity, your body can pick up the money, the business, the diamonds, the gold. And you just called it what? Shit? Stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the point. It's a capacity. You have, oh my God, amazing. I wonder who that belongs to. Where do you, did you pick that up? You know, the dogs or the cats that constantly bring home the dead mice or the dead animals. 
You go, oh, where did you find that? Take it outside. I don't want a dead mouse in my house. Be that with your body. Go, oh my God, where did you find this? Let's send it back. Yeah, that's powerful. Thanks. And that creates this, it, it creates an incredible kindness yeah. and gratitude for your body, acknowledging its brilliance and telling him, hey, I love you for this capacity, but you know what? Let's send it back. Like you tell your dog, take the mouse outside the house, but keep hunting it if it's fun for you. Thank you. I see how I was trying to get rid of a really phenomenal capacity that I have. And if you want to turn it up, <laughs> use it to your advantage. You know what, buddy? You can, you're brilliant in finding back pain. Can you find some gold? Can you find some shares? that go right. up very soon. Can you find it? business? Hey guys, this works everywhere. This works everywhere. You just don't believe me. <laughs> Thanks, David. That was very helpful. You're very welcome. And we have Nishta. Oh my God. Did yeah. I bother you? Yeah. How, do you, how do you pronounce it? It's Nishta. You said it right. My God, see. <laughs> Very few Indians say it right, by the way. So I'm impressed. Thank you. <laughs> What's so your question? I, I have a question that is, um, I have done the body class and I've done so much in access in very little time. But, you know, I still feel, and I get body processes done every day and very frequent bar sessions. But I still feel very disconnected to my business. I feel very disconnected to my body. It just feels like I don't belong. You know, I just don't feel like I can connect to anything that is happening inside or around me. Can you help me with that? You, you, you said you feel. Yeah. Feelings are dis feeling is a distractor implant. Yeah, I do so much distractor implants. Wow. Uh, including... Okay, number one, why is it wrong that you do so many distractor implants? No, I just wondered that I, I do realize that I'm too deep into the distractor implants. Because you're Indian, you have to. <laughs> Otherwise, you would be a good Indian. <laughs> Thank you're, you. Well, great Indian. So what next? What else? Don't yeah. shut yourself. Go, wait a minute. I'm doing these feelings all the time. And then I think I'm not connected to my body. Okay, so what am I aware of here? If I was over feeling, what do I actually know? So question to you, if you stopped distracting yourself through feelings, what would you know about your body? What do you know about your body? Mm -hmm. That, don't look for an answer. But every time when you feel disconnected, you go, wait a minute, what do I actually know here? What do I know? It just feels like I do a lot of perceiving and I keep doing who does it belong to, but it's it just this awareness. I feel it's increasing so much with the body processes, but I just don't know how to ease into it. I just keep saying, how do I ease into it? But then it gets tiresome. Well, what are you resisting with ease? You are so aware. Yeah. Number one question with awareness is, what is this? Oh, it's not mine. Thank you. Everything you are aware of, go, oh, what is this? And then you'll know. This is an awareness. This is someone else's. This is whatever. Okay, thank you. Wonderful. I love my life. I'm so aware now. <laughs> Enjoy it. Don't resist it. Don't try to get rid of awareness. You can't. I think it comes from a deep-rooted emotion of not being able to trust myself. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's a metaphysical bullshit. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, in India, you, you, you tend to look for reasons. Um, why? Why? Where does this come from? Why do you want to know where this comes from? Yeah, I'm too logical like that. Yeah, just go, you know what? Let's change this. Done with feelings. Have yeah. you done, there is a telecall that Gary facilitated two years ago, the feelings call. Mm, if you no. have a chance to buy it in the extra shop, the feelings call. Feelings are incredible distractors. 
And yeah. you mention feeling in every sentence you say. <laughs> so you might want to listen to the telecall. And it's not wrong. It's not wrong. But it's exhausting. Well, then it is way more, you will have way more ease when you go to question as soon as you notice a feeling. Mm -hmm. What am I aware of here? Instead of, oh, I'm feeling this. Every time, and this is where you have to be present with yourself, where you have to make, if you truly want to change this from now on, every time you go into, oh, this feels this physical, wait a minute, I'm using feeling again. So what am I aware of? What is yeah. this? And I can guarantee you the minute you are present with this and the minute you acknowledge that it's just a feeling, it will change. Once you acknowledge and see things, they can change. Just go, oh, a feeling. What is this? What, what do I know? What am I aware of? Replace these words and it will change. Thank you. You're welcome. Nicole, hello. What is your question? Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, my question is, I don't know why I feel... Okay, so my parents are divorced. And when I'm with my dad in another country, I feel good about my body. I, I feel like I attract more things. I feel like I'm more abundant. So everything's good. Mm -hmm. But when I'm with my mom in the other country, um, I feel ugly. I feel bad. I, like I have like a lot of things I... I I feel like into a depression. I don't know how to attract things. I feel like I'm stuck in a hole, but I don't know how to get the same body when I'm with my dad and when I'm with my mom. I don't know if Well is it your mom is, is it the mother or is it the country? What is it? Is it the country or is it the mother? I think don't it's think. both of them. No, no, don't um, think. You have to follow your energy. When I ask you, is it the mother? Is it the country? What's lighter? Mother. Good. So does your mother have judgments about you and your body or about her body? Yeah. She, both of them. Both. More, more like to me. In what country does your mother live? Um, Canada. Okay. And in what country does your dad live? Guatemala. Okay. So have people in Guatemala way more communion, funny, joy, and glory with their bodies than Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know how to like be the same body. I feel like I'm two different persons when I'm there and then oh. when I'm here. Acknowledge. Oh. Canada, Canadians, they have a lot of, lots of judgments about bodies. Thank you for that information. And it will change. Just acknowledge mm -hmm. it's not yours. You are aware of your mother's judgments about bodies in general. Maybe mm -hmm. she's one of those, oh, I have to have a certain size. I have to have a certain this. And I'm, I have wrinkles. I'm getting old. Canadians mm -hmm. and all these Europeans, you know, they have such pressure to have perfect bodies, they, it kills them, and your body is aware of it. So there's nothing wrong with you, there's nothing wrong with your body, you're just aware of what's going on around you, which is brilliant. And when you're in Guatemala with your dad, you're just aware, oh, these people here have no judgments about bodies, they have just the Easter and glory, wonderful, thank you body for that information. That's an ability. Oh, I it didn't is. That See? And now, are you now in Guatemala or in Canada? In Canada. Good. Every time you have this kind of, uh, go, hey, body, we're in Canada. People church. It's not yours. Mm, I feel way more lighter. See? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for Thank your you. question. <laughs> 
Oh, and Ruth is saying, I love this topic. We're running body processes right now. Oh my God, I want my bars run too. Nobody's here. I have to travel alone. Nobody takes care of me. What does it take to perceive, know, be, and receive our non-reality realities with business and bodies? Well, that's a good question. That question. Ask that question and then stop looking for an answer. Because your body takes care of it. Your body will connect you, will take you to places, will take connect you with people, will make sure you this information comes to you. Our bodies are brilliant, incredible assistants, incredible co-creators. This is bodies and business. Just let them be part of it. Include them. Allow yourself and your business to receive through and from them. And then let's see how it all changes. And it will. It will. <laughs> so if you want to take something with you from this call, please, 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 whatever feeling or pain or body issue you have, if you could start with a question, rather a conclusion, and the question to start with that always works is, what is this? What is this? Simple question. What is this? And then you can go, is it mine? What do I do with it? Can I change it? Does my body want to give me information? Am I aware of something? What is this? What am I aware of? Who does this belong to? Or is this actually mine? With these questions, you're basically set. You set yourself free. And find a way to remind yourself to be that. We tend to kind of, oh, try it out one day, two days, and then we go back to, you know, old scheme, judge it, what's wrong, the problem is, this is pain, therefore it's bad. Gift yourself the commitment to be present with being in question. As a walking, talking question, you will always thrive through life, through business, through living. It's an amazing state of being. I can only invite you. I cannot make it, I cannot make you choose it, but I will keep inviting you. <laughs> and if you want to experience more of that, I'm having some body classes coming up. The next one is in Amsterdam. Then there is one. Oh, I already forgot. Well, you could just stalk me on the internet. <laughs> Find my page. Houston? Huh? Are you going to come from Houston? But I'm coming to you <laughs> for a use class, but not for a 3D body class yet. <laughs> but hopefully, okay. soon. hopefully soon. Calling. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Someone using the tools against me. No, not against me. <laughs> for me, I know. <laughs> well, thank you, everyone, for being on here. Thank you, beautiful bodies, for being here. Enjoy your bodies, enjoy yourself, and co-create your life, your living, your business with your body. And then, well, hopefully, I see you soon, life, somewhere, somewhere. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>